What is up, my veggies? My name is Veggie Tales Raymond, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, this was supposed to be a big special review, but since we're pressed for time, we're just doing a basic normal review. So and we'll do talk about it later. I, we will talk about this movie more on my podcast, hopefully later tonight when I, I'll probably talk to him over the phone or whatever. But that is let's if go. I'm not asleep. But let's go ahead and talk about drum roll, please. I'm not doing a drum roll. <laughs> Teen Titans go to the movies, which I, I didn't hate. I feel bad about saying that. Like I feel. Like, I should hate myself for this. Me and Tanner, I've done this, this was probably like five, six times without the entire, no, probably more than that. We kept looking at each other like, why don't I hate this? Yeah, why like, don't I hate this? I don't, like, it yes. seems like something that I would normally hate, but for some reason, y yes, there, I loved it. Yes, there are fart jokes. Obviously. One, I hate fart jokes, as you guys no, one, but... That first one was drawn out for way too long. And it was shown in the first... In, this, like, the second trailer, so... Or, no, it was the yeah. first trailer. But, I mean, like, it lasted for, like, almost It a was a minutes. horrible, horrible, horrible joke. And the fart jokes in general are bad. But, I mean... The given movie they started itself, the movie with that, it did help a lot. There were more fart jokes. There were, there were poop jokes and fart jokes, which I really hate. There were butt jokes. And... Oh my god, they did dubstep. But this movie was really good. And surprisingly, one thing that really surprised me, it was kind of a musical. I mean, there were musical numbers, but there are also musical numbers in the show. But that doesn't matter. If it, the, the it, it had enough musical numbers in it to be that where it would fall under with along with the category musical. It had enough in there for falling. So like it, it, it falls under the category action, uh, comedy, and mu musical, and probably what is another category it would probably fall under? Drama? Well, drama? Well, you can fall under drama a little bit. Not really. And here's nothing about so Here's another thing about Teen Titans, this movie. There was actual character development! So and when, and when And when uh, Robin was upset... I actually felt for him. More like everyone else was being a douche. Yeah. But I was actually feeling... Um, yes, this film was very predictable. But that, that helped it a lot. But like, it that was, just made like, it that much like, more funny. Like it was a lot, lot predictable, a lot more predictable than um, uh, Hotel Transylvania 2, but it was still good. It doesn't, normally, like, when a film is, like, very, very predictable, it ruins it. But this movie, for some reason, it worked. Like, it helped the film move at a more reasonable pace. Also, they went down some dark paths. Uh, we're not going to say what they did, but they were dark. They were dark. Like, I will say I this. Was like, I will say I this. I like the, the things they did in this show, they, they would not be allowed to do on Cartoon Network. I will say this. Speaking of which, pay attention in this movie. There are so many things in the background. Pay attention. I spotted, like, four Batman animated series references, and I pointed, like, what, two of them out to you? Yeah. There was Animaniacs. Oh, yes, there was an Animadia Animaniacs reference. There was references to Marvel, references to Guardians of the Galaxy. Slight spoiler, but it doesn't change the story, like, at all that you know this. There, we're not going to tell you. Stan Lee. There's a Stan Lee cameo. No, <laughs> not going to talk about anything else about that. It's uh, actually Stan Lee, guys. And it's, it's funny. It's actually legit funny. And it, it's not just one cameo. He comes back around the end of the movie. Yeah. It's, it's... Like, I love cameos, guys. And I'm like, here's nothing I want to talk about. This isn't about really the movie itself, but we need more 2D animated movies in theaters. Deal. Because last Deal. year we got the My Little Pony movie, which was 2D animated with like 3D-ish backgrounds, but it was still a 2D movie. Yeah, so like this one. This one was 2, 2D animation, and it very much resembled, basically was the same as the um, show, yeah. as the show, but it was also more sharp. Like you can tell there was yeah. some more effort put in. Yeah, it looked almost exactly yeah. the same. The first thing I said to Raymond when, I, when it started up was, oh, they they really improved the design on this. Yeah, because like the, Cause ba the, the ba Titan Tower the, the background really good. The characters looked exactly the same, in my opinion. Yeah. But the backgrounds definitely looked different. They almost looked hand-painted, almost. In some places. In some places. Then you have, like, Krypton... 
yeah, the, places like that. There, the there was and the, the arts. There were so many art style changes. Yeah, there especially was especially like, in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, and I can't lie. The fact that there were musical numbers thought was gonna weird me out, and I'm like, uh, I love a good musical, but Teen Titans Go, and then all of a sudden, I didn't hate one of the songs. No, it, it was actually... Even though the one that you... I thought you would hate, I thought you were thinking it was, like, vomit-inducing because you, like, don't like cutesy stuff and, like, rainbows and crap like that. I thought that would make you want to throw up. But I looked at you, you were enjoying it. Yeah, it was, for some reason, it was so entertaining. And here's the funny part thing about the, 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 part, the musical numbers. I found it so funny when, uh, in this the one song where uh, Raven started singing, I'm like... You can obviously tell they switched the voice act, the t- singer voice, with someone else because obviously t- Tara Strong doesn't sing. I think the only one that they didn't have to use at least a little bit of auto tune with was Beast Boy. Because I think the actual person who plays Beast Boy actually does some singing, I do believe. But I don't know why. But I didn't. But hate I think in the any well, of it. I think with the song where they're saying, "Oh, we're the team," that we're introducing them all and talking about. I think that actually was all of them except for Raven. I think. All yeah. Of, I think everyone else was well, them. But with a little bit of auto tune, yeah, to fix a little bit of singing. Problems. But that was very it, like the the song. It was little, very noticeable for the auto tune for Cyborg. And a lot of people, a lot of people were like. Saying, oh, this movie ruined Slade. Slade was one of the best parts of the movie. Yeah, he was hilarious. Freaking, I, I can't lie, I loved the Deadpool joke. How they kept calling yeah. him Deadpool's like, Deadpool? Oh, oh, look at the camera and say something inappropriate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was something. That was the one that made me burst out loud laughing. I was yeah. like, I went, <laughs> I, I was loud. Like, I was like, that joke made me laugh so so badly. And the thing is, the movie might have just been improved by the fact that there was a guy in the front who, like, oh, every yeah. little thing made him just burst out even laughing. This, the, like, there was one joke I didn't even laugh at, but this guy down in the audience just started, <laughs> and it made me laugh. I'm like, I was like, I was like, I'm not even laughing at the joke. I'm laughing at that dude down there. Yeah, I was laughing at the joke, though. Like, it, it was a comic book joke. There are so many jokes oh my that God, you would not about. get in this movie if you there didn't... There is one thing I wish they had made a joke about, but I feel like it would be going too far given how dark it got. And if you read, if you read comic books, all I'm going to have to say here is, Tim Drake, we can move on now. Okay, um, but something I want to point out actually about this movie was the fact that... Um, Crap, I'm, my mind just blanked. How the fact that in the show, in the Teen Titans Go, Robin is the most annoying character. Yeah, and this one, he was, like, the most S- likable. Yeah, okay. they, like, yes, this movie, they, they got you focusing on Robin. Yeah. This This is, Ro- this, don't get, don't get it wrong, the other Titans are there. This is Robin's movie. Yeah. This is Robin's movie. I mean, like, yeah, one of my favorite superheroes is Raven, because... She's half demon, or and oh, she's voiced by Tara Strong. Yeah, that too, but that's not why I like her. I liked her in the comic books. But still, so she's awesome. She's, she's voiced like, by Tara Strong, though. She too. kills people. Okay, another thing I want to point out—not really about the movie, but I normally don't do this. I don't really want to talk about short films that like started before it. But as soon as there was a short film about like Batgirl and everything, the super, it was a superhero girls thing. Which the thing is, there's actually like movie direct to DVD movies that are about those, and that was a completely different art style. Yeah, but it's still. Because I've watched style. a couple of those. Uh, I also yeah. would like to point this out: all of the two D animated movies that have come out recently have had Tara Strong in them. Yeah, Tara Strong and uh, My Little Pony was Twilight Sparkle and uh, Batgirl in the short, and then see you can ask Tanner when I first heard Tara Strong's voice. I was like, Tara Strong! I actually yelled that. I was like, because I love Tara Strong. She's my favorite voice actor. And I'm like... Personally, mine's kind of happy for her. But she, I was like, oh, that's Tara Strong. But normally when I think of DC, I think of Tara Strong, I think of Harley Quinn. Because she's... Basically every yes. animated version of um, Harley Quinn has been voiced by her. Not every single one, but most no, of most them. most of them have. Like in the Batman animated series, it was Tara Strong... In the Arkham games, it was uh, Tara Strong. And she is Harley Quinn. She is so. 
Harley Quinn. Yes, I agree 100%. I as much as I like the Suicide Squad movie, that's not Harley Quinn. The freaking Tara Strong. Yeah. Like that... That is, is Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. That is Harley That's, Quinn. That is. I really wish for the. Okay, I know we're getting a lot of time, but I want to say this real quick. I really wish for the uh, Batman uh, and Harley Quinn movie that would have got her, because it was supposed to be resemble the art style. Of I still Quinn. haven't seen that movie. I have it. It's really good. But let's get back to Teen Titans Go the movies. This movie, there are so many things that I I believe like there was a bunch of different writers, obviously. And I, I get, like, I, I, and one reason why I know the movie actually was actually better than the show is because, one, you've got to do things differently for a theatrical release. Like, if it was just a TV movie, it probably would have stayed the same. It, if it was a TV movie, like, it just aired on Cartoon Network, it would have probably just been the same thing. Yeah. It would probably just have been something stupid and everything like that. It would have been horrible. Choppy animation. Yeah. It would have, but the thing is... They had a much larger budget. Now, it, this is a 2D animated movie. It doesn't have a very large budget like most animated films. But, I mean, it's much larger than the TV show. And they had a lot more time to work on it. And I would, I would say this movie... For, and every review I've seen has been positive. I haven't seen any negative reviews of this. On Rotten Tomatoes, this has a 90%. From the critics, though. But it has a 71 from audiences. That's still yeah. really good. Like, that's a very, very good score. Like, and I guarantee you a lot of people just went to see this to be like, oh, I'll give it a watch. And that's how I was. I was like, I gotta see this to review it. And I'm I, glad... I did, I did a little bit of research beforehand by so that I, I mean just like I watched a ton of reviews because I don't have much money and I I'm watched, paying for this I, I watched, need to at least know what I'm paying for I watched Doug Walker's review I watched uh, uh, Black Nerd's um, review and I watched like two other people's reviews I don't remember who did. Um, but but um, the movie works in some in a bunch of places I'm it also so, doesn't work in some places, but there's more things that work than that don't. But they went to like dark places. I'm gonna go ahead and say one of them. It's no, not, it's not a plot point. If it's it, if it's anything to do with the time, I'll, I'll just mention that. If it has anything to do with the time travel, don't mention it. No, it's um after a musical number, they were they ended it by by running over one of the characters. Oh yeah, and they like didn't even tell you, oh, did this character survive or not? Like, they were... Like, oh, I think his dad's a cop! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, but, um, one thing I also want to point out, there were, not just with our bunch of references to superhero culture, there was so many references to other things. There was Back to the Future. There was a bad... Everywhere. There, there was legit the music from when they showed the DeLorean in Back to the Future... Playing in this movie, and they even had the song "Back the Back in Time" in this movie as well. I was like, "You're actually doing this?" Well, I mean, it's Warner Brothers. I know they that's could've. that's how they were able to do that. And I, I also absolutely love the fact that they like made fun of themselves a lot in Marvel. Like there was that one Green Lantern moment. I oh, seen yeah. it. It was in the trailers. Yeah, there was but, a Green Lantern movie, but we, we don't, don't talk about yeah. that. And they had some. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say his name because I tend to get his name wrong. Who? But it was a guy who had auditioned to play Superman in the original Superman movies. He was finally able to play Superman. Um. It wasn't one thing. That actually, I was surprised they did with this movie. Hmm. They actually had a scene. Because if you've watched any of Teen Titans Go, every time you see an appearance of Batman, he doesn't talk. But in this movie, there was actually a scene where Batman talked. Yeah. If sure it was a scene where they were filming a movie. And it was actually, that was a joke on, that was a joke on uh, Batman vs. Superman. What's your mother's name? It's Martha. Oh, my. Oh, that's my mother's name, too. But what's your dad's name? Dad's name? <laughs> it's John. It was, it was... 
It was dumb. Like this movie, uh, I, can't, I can't lie. This movie was really dumb. It was. It was dumb so dumb. Fun. But I loved it. It is probably. I don't think any movie I see else I see this year can top this movie. Maybe Christopher Robin. Possibly. No. I like Christopher Robin, but I like this more. I can't lie. It, they're kind of tied for me. See, like seeing it on the seeing. It, I love seeing two D animation on the big screen. I love 2D animation on the big screen. And the whole time travel thing that happened, I love that segment. That was funny. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff that happened in the movie. And the whole movie is like Robin trying to get to be a, uh, get a superhero movie, which is kind of funny because you're already in your own movie right now. Yeah. I wish they would have actually it- made a joke like that. I, I honestly think that's a missed opportunity. Oh, there was also one joke in the in the movie where Slade f- sh- first shows up and there's like something about silencing your cell phone. This is actually in the movie. This isn't something that showed before the movie. This is actually in the movie. Freaking like, he's like, I, like, yeah, I, I like, silence my phone. Unlike some people. Like they, they prob- they're probably pretty courteous and silence their phones in the theater. Unlike some people. And that basically just gave them more fuel to call him Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they they really made him great. I mean, he I did find it weird that he was calling them silly, but he was probably the silliest character. Oh, I, Although, he was very enjoyable. Oh, I loved Slade. Like, he had his serious moments as well. Like, he, like, killed people in the movie. Keep in mind, though, this is not Deathstroke's first appearance on the big screen. Yeah, I know that. It's only his second. Yeah. In the Justice League movie, he was in an after credit scene. Yeah, I know. But still, like, he ran through killing people in his introduction. Like, Yeah, this is something that the that the show wouldn't have done. Like, yeah. The, they actually had saw him, like, throw something into the dude's gun, and it broke when he shot it. They would not have done that on the show. Because one, yeah. the way the show is like Y rated, I do believe. Yeah, this was. This show was this definitely movie, not. This movie. Like, this this thing did this. The ending scene. I will say this. There is one thing that we, we, about. We will talk about this one scene. The, we're talking about the, the after credit scene? No, when Robin's trying to get across the message. Kids, ask your parents how to make babies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that okay. killed me. Okay, but like, let's, get, let's talk about the after credit scene for a minute. Or the mid credit scene. It's really a mid credit scene because not after the credits are done rolling. I am so pumped. Like, they better make season six. If they if they're doing this, and they teased a little thing with and the re- the original Teen Titans showed up and it's like, hey, we're still here. Yeah. And see, I have the, they can either be going with two options here. A crossover. No, yeah, no three yeah. options then. A crossover, like a legit full-on crossover, or a, a season six of the original series, or, or a Teen Titans movie, or a Teen Titans theatrical movie that just picks up where the series left off and just or, answers a whole bunch of where the movie of, left off technically. Huh? The, there was a there was a direct DVD movie that wasn't that was canon. I know that, that wasn't that was, that was I know that that was not the series ending. The actual ser- the actual ending to the show was that last episode with Tara not knowing. Well, I mean, they did say it was canon. But still. I didn't say it wasn't canon. That t- that came out, but the movie came out before the show ended. Did it? Yeah. I didn't think Trouble did, Tokyo did. I did all my research. I'm pretty sure it came out before the movie. Well, guys, well, comment down below. Let us know that stuff. But back to talking. Please tell me I'm right. But it'd be cool to... I wouldn't... See, if we get a season six or a movie, I'd be cool with either one of those. Because... Uh, well, if they release a season six on... I'm in a movie in theaters. A lot of people are... Like, a lot of people that are growing up that didn't know the original Teen Titans and is growing up with Teen Titans Go now. They're going to think, what they do to the Teen Titans? Or, they, <laughs> or they're probably just going to put it on their streaming services coming out. They could just like put the I guarantee show you, on there it's, and, it's like, still gonna wind up. up going on TV. It's probably still gonna go up on TV. Well, I mean, I, ca- I mean, Star Wars isn't go- going on TV. That's gonna be on the Disney streaming service. So, you know, 
But I think that this is still going to go on TV, though. I think it is. Just because it was such a big... Like, one of the biggest things Cartoon Network has ever produced. And mm -hmm. it was such a good show. And for them to bring it back would be such a g great thing and bring the show back. And before then, I hope I can get the, my hands on the entire series. I kind of want them to finish it up and, like, release a box set. And then I can just, like... Kind of like what they did with Samurai Jack. Yes. Um, like, well, I would buy that in a heartbeat. I want to talk a little bit more about the movie before we finish off this video. The movie was a surprise. Like, even before I saw the movie, I put something on my Instagram story with a picture of the Rotten Tomatoes score. I was like, well, this is surprising. And I went and saw it, I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to walk out not enjoying this, or... I, had, I, 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 was, I, was like, I was like, well... So basically, like, my reaction to Hotel Transylvania 3. But I was like, why did I like this? Yeah, I'm going to get that, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. I, I kind of want them to release a steel book. That would like, be. I would a, buy it. That would be amazing. And the fact that 2D animation is kind of making a comeback with last year's My Little Pony movie and this year's uh, Teen Titans Go. I, I would really. At enjoy least. Seeing more I don't care who does it. Just at least one film company or something. Release a, a 2D animated film once a year. It doesn't matter. I don't care who does it. I don't care what the movie is. I just want I, more 2D animation in the world. I feel like they could. Do, um, yeah. It was there and now it's gone, but they could do so much with 2D animation. See, because in 2020, there's supposed to be another My Little Pony movie that's supposed to introduce the new series that's supposed to come out, Generation 5. Is it gonna like. I don't know if it's supposed to be 2D animated or 3D animated. There's theories that. Well, uh, to be honest, I don't really care. I'm just saying. So, there's possible another 2D animated movie in the future. That was the whole point of saying that. There's possibly a whole 2D animated movie in the future. So, hopefully, even before then, we get some more 2D animated films. Because, with how... This really wasn't... A, a, to, actually, you were kind of wrong about the whole box, of, box, box, box office flop thing. It actually... A movie... movie what really says a movie did all good is when it makes up it make its budget, and Teen Titans Go to the movies did that. I mean, you gotta remember it was a small its budget, budget was like ten thousand. But still, it was a. I feel like I, I feel like million. I feel like some parents in that theater hated that movie. I guarantee you, they did. I know that they're gonna get a bunch of crap for that ending, though. There was a, a old man sitting next to me. I could tell he wasn't enjoying this movie. But I could tell he was like, oh, just end the movie now. I yeah. could tell he did not like it. But at least I didn't have to sit next to anyone in that one, I don't think. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did? You sat next to someone in every movie. Yeah, I did. But Teen Titans Go to the Movies is fantastic. I loved it. Like, surprising. It's so surprising. There's so many references to everything. Five out of five. And there's one thing that I actually saw in the movie that triggered back to the, uh, not triggered, but, like, maybe remember back to the, um, Arrowverse. Because I was introduced to this character through the Arrowverse. Um, that dude, that cowboy-looking dude who's got the hole in his face. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. I don't remember his name. I got introduced to him in, uh... DC's Red Moon Tomorrow. Well, and I don't know who that is. I was like, like I don't, I don't but you know saw him. You about. saw him in the movie. Yeah, though. I know who I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember his name. Off when the I saw him, I was like, oh, and I liked that there was even a reference to uh, they even mentioned the Wonder Woman movie. Yeah, and really, really, this movie, I was expecting them to poke more at DC than they did, but I thought the more I thought about, it, I was like, uh. That's kind of what the Lego movie did, the Lego Batman movie, because they really, they really poked fun at the DC Cinematic Universe a yeah, lot. Yeah, I feel like the, I feel like the Cinematic Universe is where they're super serious, and then they release the kids' movies, and that's how they get their frustrations with each other out. See, see, um, I told uh, him, I whispered in his ear while we watched the movie. I, I said, "Dude, I hope there's like a Lego Batman movie reference," and he he said that, he said that, that that'd be funny. 
but I like they didn't do it. At least I didn't see it. And there may have been something in the background or something. I don't know. I guarantee you there was a bunch of Easter eggs we missed. Oh, yeah. Because, like, there was a lot of time, like, when they were walking to the movie, the movie studio, I was looking in the background, looking at characters and stuff. I was looking in the background for references and stuff. And I feel like they could have, like, had something that could be an actual real threat some at some point, like, to introduce, like, Superman or something like that instead of whatever that balloon thing was. They could have, like, done dark side or something and that would have made for a much more intense fight with them and then, oh and like, the, fi- the final there. fight was awesome yeah actually, especially when like Slade and uh Robin were out there after like fighting both staff on uh swords basically which was really yeah. really cool and really funny like, well not, not funny just cool it was like really cool it was, like I, I have to say the coolest looking part of it was Raven like, that oh, yeah. was awesome. You can obviously tell when, like, Raven's, like, with her portals, the animation was changed a little bit. With the portals, it was definitely changed. And I can't lie, they did use the portal, in my opinion. It was, like, as, like, the third time, like, the third time they used the portal, they got old. Well, I like the fact that they're just like, oh, yeah, we have this thing that can instantly fix it. But oh, it, yeah, why do we keep forgetting that we have this? Yeah, but, like, it's kind of a... I mean, I think that's kind of a joke. It just got old after a while. Yeah. Like, I, I, I didn't Cause ever like get from, old. From, like, the original Teen Titans, th- it couldn't have done that. Because, like, I'm pretty sure Raven's uh, portals could only be a certain size. She couldn't open them up. Unless she was, like, really, like, focusing. Yeah. So, like, uh, I'm trying not to spoil anything. This movie is one of those that you just instantly feel like you might spoil it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This part of the... the for, if you do not want any spoilers for Teen Titans Go to the Movies, this second part of this video is a spoiler video, is spoiler territory. If you guys do not want a single spoiler, do not continue forward. Because we are going to spoil the heck out of the movie for you. Three, two, two one... one. Spoilers. Slade has a Slade robot. That was in the trailer. That, oh, it was? Yeah. <laughs> also, there was time I did travel. like how... I did like... I, li- I liked the whole... Them going, the, them going back and giving Martha Wayne the pearl necklace. <laughs> oh, for, that, that was dark. Uh, that, it was. It was. Why dark. are you going down Crime Alley? There's like a shooter every five seconds. Uh, go down Happy Alley. Yeah, go down Happy Lake. And I can't lie, some of the funny. I really loved the like the song when they introduced them. Yeah, I don't know why that was so entertaining, but um, like uh, Teen Titans. T- Teen Titans. I I do think that the um, the reveal for. Jade Wilson was a like I'm surprised no one figured that out other than Raven. Like, it's obviously Slade. Yeah, cause, like it was like, like from the trailers you wouldn't have suspected that, but like. Well, I mean, I kind of figured since it's like white hair and her name is Jade Wilson. See, I don't know that much about the. Well, I mean, stuff. given I've read a lot about Deathstroke, you know. That's one of my favorite characters in the DC universe. He's yeah. up there with like Red Hood. See, before this movie, I d- before this movie, I didn't know who uh, Jay Wilson was. I've never heard that name before. I'm pretty sure she's not part of the comic books. That's, I don't think that's, she that's, is that's a character they created specifically for that movie. Yeah. And, and I was, again, I could be wrong. I, was I actually, read everything, guys. I was actually half expecting like like when Slade was revealed as her like she th- there was actually actually a Jade Wilson she was just locked up somewhere I was actually expecting that you can't say that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have made sense no it, it probably wouldn't given it's very obvious like her name is Jade Wilson they literally just changed a couple letters and slayed and didn't even change the last name so but like and I can't I like it was I just funny. realized now we have three Wilsons. 
Well said. Well said. All right, back to talking about the movie. But this movie, especially a lot of the stuff, a lot of stuff was cringe. There were some cringy moments, but some was cringe in a good way. Yeah, like... Like, the whole tricycle uh, thing was weird and dumb, but it was funny. Yeah. And I like the fact that they had Take On Me playing in the background. That, that yeah. made me... Do, 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 do. And that song, that song was a perfect trailer song, by the way. Yeah. Like also, it was, it was perfect used, for Dark Souls, but It still. was used in the, um... What movie? In the Lego movie trailer. The first, the very first Lego movie trailer. Yeah. Which, by the way... I'll get a review to the Lego movie out eventually. Maybe. I give it about a year. <laughs> um, At but, most. But. Wink, wink, it's gonna take two. But, but this movie was great. I absolutely loved it. Walking out, like, me and Tan looked like, why did we like this? Yeah, like, we were completely stunned by it. Like, I, I do not like the show at all. And like, occasionally the show will have a good episode, occasionally. And I, love, I also love the fact that we went and saw, like, four movies and by Christopher Robin, everyone's like, Oh, you guys had a really boring weekend, didn't you? No, what he said was, like, we, y'all, must, y'all must be yeah, bored. Like, yeah, we like, must be bored. Since you're, since you're just watching movies all day. Yeah. And he does, like, was like, oh, he's like, double features. He's like, no, nah, this is our fourth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but still. We had fun. It was a very fun experience, especially Teen Titans. Which I'm surprised I still am surprised I enjoyed that. Yeah, like, and I can't lie. I'll some probably of the... be like in my room for a couple of days, just like, oh god, did I actually like a Teen Titans Go movie? And here's one thing that I actually Teen like, Titans Go is just stupid. Ro- I actually really enjoyed Robin's song, like the one where he was talking about when if he had a movie. Yeah, I, I know. really liked that. It was funny, except for the like whole. I- I feel like I'm probably gonna end up buying the soundtrack. Oh, same. Because yeah. like, there was actually some songs I wouldn't mind listening to on a regular basis. Yeah. Cause like, especially the one where they're introducing everyone. It's like, it had some of the. I am one upset though, because we only heard Raven say as a wrath Metro and Synthos not singing, once in the movie. I'm pretty sure even in the Tokyo the Tokyo movie, yeah, uh, she said, she said it more times. than that. But the big thing everyone was talking about was when this movie came out was the after the mid credit scene. Because uh, my God, they better have season six. Otherwise, I will be so mad at everyone. No, it'd be cool if they wanted up having a series finale for uh, Teen Titans Go. And it was the Teen Titans, the original ones, coming in and taking their time slot. And that's introducing there's going to be a new series. They, that, that they should work. do that. That would work. And it would make sense for the... Um, for the uh, but the, right now, to, Teen Titans Go is a cash cow. But like, so it, but like, they wouldn't end it like, anytime like, soon. Like what I'm saying, the end of... Uh, the, it would make sense. Because the way the uh, movie was... Um, the way the after credits scene went, because they were like trying to tap into the feed, basically. So they were basically trying to like interrupt the movie, basically. I know that's actually part of the movie, but like they were, it's meant to seem like they're breaking into the movie, kind of. Like trying to be like, we're not supposed to be getting into this, but we gotta let you guys know we're still here. Yeah. And it'd be cool if they had, like implement that into the show. And so even though the show doesn't really have any continuity, the movie had continuity from the series. Yeah. Like that whole boombox with the yeah, legs and, and, and the talking uh, talking uh, bird ring. Uh, it, it it worked and it was funny and it it was. I'm kind of glad those weren't. They were only in cameos. Yeah, like I, I, those I didn't those like things them, are really but... annoying in the show, and I'm just glad they were just cameos. Yeah, and there were so like, many I cameos. Didn't like, I didn't like that one of the big parts of the movie was oh Robin saved himself with. Baby hands. That just got annoying after about the tenth time they brought up baby hands. There was like I think it was a whole episode surrounded that in the actual show. There were a couple episodes surrounding that in the show. But I don't. I, does this change my look on the show a little bit? Yeah, I I feel like I get, now I can accept it as like oh it's just a satire on the it's, original. It's meant 
for kids. It's not meant for us. And it's not meant for the new, the fans yeah. of the original. Now, it doesn't mean I like the show, like, at all. I the, still don't like it. This is not meant for us. This is not meant for the fans of the original. The original is for the original fans. This is meant to for a new audience, for younger kids who just like random humor. And that's fine. And... The movie is also very colorful, so I can see a lot of people taking their kids to it. Oh, I'd recommend bringing your kids to this. I really recommend it. If you don't have kids, go see this movie. Yeah, I mean... I I wouldn't mind seeing this a second time in theaters. I'm not not lying. I mean, right now, I don't feel like going to the theater and watching it a second time. But I'm like saying, like, later this month, if I had the money and I want, and I like thinking, like, what do I want to do this weekend? I'll probably go see 10 times go again. Yeah, I don't don't think I would go that far, but I don't go that far for anything. But I do plan on getting a uh, a copy of this when it comes out on Blu ray. And I hope, like, there's some, like, special thing where, like, some type of collectible with it. Yeah. Like, unlike this, which was disappointing, the collectible with this is a water bottle. Yeah, I was asking him what that was earlier. I'm like, I'm like, like... Why does he have it? I was like, okay, I was hoping it was going to be a collectible thing. And at Target, they had an actual collectible thing that was actually fairly decent. I go to Walmart and get mine. And I get a freaking water bottle. Well, I mean, like, I feel like they would probably do what they did with the straight-to-DVD movies like Batman and Harley Quinn or... Um, Batman and Harley Quinn didn't come with anything. Yeah, it did. There is a collector's edition that comes <coughs> with a Harley Quinn figure. And then there's like one that had that stars if they want to do Robin anything, and Nightwing. If they want Nightwing to do, figure. If they want to do anything that should give us like a little Slade figure. Yeah, I do feel like that would probably be the coolest thing. Or maybe the Slade robot. Uh I feel like that'd be better more than a playset or something. Yeah. Man, hey Lego, get on this Lego, get we know you made two packs for Lego Dimensions. Go ahead Freaking and make, make sets. I don't even care if they're Teen Titans ghost sets. I guess pretend they're the actual thing. <laughs> you, you know, just make more Legos. Yeah, with Teen Titans. That would just be cool. Yeah. Make one to go with, co- at least one set to coincide with this movie. Freaking, yeah, it would like, be like Slade and his freaking... Aw, oh, Slade minifigure would be cool. I don't know how that would do it. If, like, his he- if, it, if it's printed on his face, it would be not really cool with like, an actual helmet. Yeah, and cool. then like they could have the regular Slade... Like, his actual face underneath. Mm-hmm. Which, then only fans would get that, but still. Like, but, guys, that's basically it for this review. Let's give our rating. I'm going to give it a solid five. Five out of five. I already gave it earlier. That's five out of five. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please tap the like button down below. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. And link to all my social medias. Link down in the description below. And do not forget the notification button to so be notified when I upload videos. And if you guys have any suggestions, even though I have a full notebook written down of movies I have to review, but if you guys have any suggestions on a movie I should review, whether it be Disney, live action, horror, Ghibli, any, Ghibli, you I, should review My Neighbor Torturo. I haven't seen it. You should review My Neighbor Torturo. But I do have, I, I actually will show you guys this, but I have to cover uh, up something on it because it has, like, like phone numbers on it and stuff, so. Is it covered? Yeah. Uh, this. I plan on re- watching this, like, maybe tonight, and I'll probably review it after I review The Secret World of Arietti. Yeah. But. I didn't actually finish it. I never finished You never know finished that one? That one? I never oh, got so around that's to why watching actually, it. That, so that's why you thought said we should should have watched it last night. Yeah, I never finished that one. That's one of the two movies in that set that I have not watched. Well, it looks good. So. Well, I mean, if it's anything like the other Ghibli movies I've seen, it's really good. Well, I've only seen one, and that was The Secret Road of Barry Eddie, and I really like that one. So. Well, I, I've never seen a Ghibli movie I haven't liked. But anyway. We will see you see guys you in, the next video. in the next one. Bye.